I'm Ian Smith, I came from Cairns. I started painting when I was a schoolboy and by the time I was 30 I was lucky enough to be a full-time artist. I uh, gone to school in Cairns, went to uni in Brisbane doing architecture in the late 60s and um, went off to art school in Melbourne. After being at art school for three years and first working in Channel 9's sets department in Melbourne, I found myself back in Brisbane lecturing at the art school. I was running around with Ray Hughes all through the 70s and had this sort of mind-blowing, um, affirming trip to the States. And then I quit my job, so by the 80s I was pretty well, foolishly or not, ready to take on being a full-time artist in the 80s. I did have a few commissions to start on as I went into the 80s, which maybe gave me the, the very uh, immediate courage to do it. But at first I didn't have any uh, mouths to feed except my own. And then by the time I was uh, 35, I had a stable relationship and, a, and, a, and my son was born in 1984. But I, I made money, we made money. Somewhere in the middle there, you realise the longer you stay out there, the easier it becomes to stay out there. Even if it's the harder it gets to be a painter, the older you get. I think if you look at all my work over all the phases, whether it's about people walking on beaches, picking up stuff off beaches, or billboards in the landscape, or more to the point, the negative and blank sides of billboards, things on the back of trucks, or cane toads, or tourists, all those things. I've always started from the idea of rather mundane, normal subjects, which you in turn can find the strange meaning in. Looking at the essence of normal life as a powerful thing in which a lot of answers lay about existence. You know, step by step, picture by picture, you'll build. You couldn't do it all in one picture, but picture by picture, you built up an attitude and think. I, I layered it up in, in terms of meanings or references as well as layers of paint. When I look around my studio, I mean, we're sitting here today uh, uh, without a whole lot of like new works around me. I think they're still in my head. And I've always done a lot of works and then I will sort of like reinvent myself, do something else. And when you look at other long living artists, say, well, like the obvious one, Picasso. If we hadn't all read about 100 books about Picasso, you would not associate his, say, Cubist works with the works he did in the 30s, much less the 50s, as being the same artist at all. We only know it's all Picasso because we, we know it is. That's all him reinventing himself through the whole thing. And uh, not that I'm would dare to put myself up beside Picasso, but it's the same, same effect of reinvention when you live a long life as an artist. Um, if I'm sort of reinventing it uh, in a way to get down to more essences, as I now become hopefully eventually a wiser old man, I'm at the point where I've always basically been a figurative artist. Uh, unavoidably as an Australian artist, you stray into landscape. It's pretty obvious in Australia why landscape's a big issue. Um, but when you look at the whole history of art, the main theme is about us. And when you look back through the whole thing from the Lascaux Caves and Egyptian art, ancient mm. art, it's pretty much about us. And uh, as I hit 64 this month, and well, you know, you calculate how much longer you've got to go, and I think I'm really at the point where having done a lot of subject, like not only figure of art, but a lot of subject matter art, I'm back to the point where I'm coming back to the essence of essences like man, woman, food, drink, and in our society, car, house, all these things, not necessarily in this order, by the way. Man's not at the top, it's just, that's the starting point. I'm a man. But I've just been fiddling around with a lot of little portraits these days of different people I see. And so, in a way, I'm, I think the next lot of paintings will be rather simple, straightforward paintings about very unsimple, unstraightforward things. Not necessarily less layered, but, but more uh, uh, simpler in a sense about a man or a woman or 
figure. Not, uh, in a way, not situational. Whereas a lot of my paintings, even though they're not exactly narrative, they're not storytelling, they do, they're often situational. They might come back to a more essential use of a figure or, or um, well, like I said, or somehow something about food, drink, a car, a house, a couple, um, or even an appropriation of an artwork from earlier times.